A breach of patient confidentiality occurs every 62 and a half hours. If you work within healthcare, you know how problematic this statistic sounds. How could these breaches occur so often without anyone at your practice realizing it? Well, some incidents are harder to detect. Since the majority of these are unintentional, it's easy to mistake inappropriate disclosure as innocent work behavior. This could be as simple as conversations about a patient. These mistakes don't always result in an official breach, and in some cases, where it seems like information should be private, it isn't always mandated by the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. But some healthcare professionals, especially nurses, can still take steps to ensure that they maintain patient confidentiality as best they can. This boosts patient trust that your organization does everything to keep their data private, even when it's not mandated. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Etactus, and today I'm going to share two ways nurses maintain privacy, even when it isn't required. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Now you might find this hard to believe, but HIPAA doesn't always require total prevention of people overhearing conversations. Hospitals don't need soundproofing or private rooms to keep people from hearing someone's protected health information. Think about it. Hospitals have so many patients as it is, and they want to be able to treat as many as their capacity allows. If every person had their own room, the hospital would have a much smaller occupancy and need to turn clients away. But with shared rooms, it seems impossible to keep patients from overhearing their roommate's information. And it isn't uncommon that they could overhear employee conversations in the hallway either. It could cost a lot in construction and even loss in revenues to restructure a facility altogether. However, there are still reasonable precautions that nurses can take to ensure the best chance for confidentiality. While separate rooms aren't necessary, curtains between patients in a shared room helps. When talking to just one of the patients, nurses close these curtains so some privacy is still maintained. Some hospitals will even add a soundproof divider or a sound canceling machine. If possible, nurses will also talk quietly with patients. Of course, this could be limited if the patient can't hear very well. But nurses can at least keep conversations quiet when talking to other staff. It's also important to give privacy guidance to the patients and their family members about respecting others' confidentiality if they do overhear anything in the future. If these family members know that others could overhear their information, they'd want that mutual respect. When it's possible, nurses may even go further by bringing patients or family members into separate private rooms to discuss PHI. But at the very least, staff will use these private areas to prevent overhearing from both patients and coworkers. The second confidentiality concern that isn't illegal is treating conflicts of interest. Even though it isn't forbidden though, it's highly discouraged. This has been the case since as early as 1803 and the American Medical Association still gives similar guidelines. Even though nurses can legally treat friends and family, they usually choose not to. Treating someone they know creates a major challenge with confidentiality. If nurses know the patient themselves, it's hard to identify where the personal relationship ends and the work regulations start. There's a chance that the nurse will have the urge to discuss the patient's conditions with them outside of the facility in this case, or they may want to talk about it with another mutual family member or friend. Since it's harder to separate the professional and personal life from treating these people, Nurses usually prefer to avoid conflicts of interest altogether. There's so much to know about when and where to discuss PHI. It can be a challenge to remember the steps when your primary focus is to provide immediate care to patients. HIPAA is the best foundation for understanding how to protect patient confidentiality, but there are even ways to maintain privacy outside of HIPAA requirements themselves. The best way for nurses to ensure they keep this privacy is by putting themselves in the patient's shoes. That way, they consider if a conversation or situation with their PHI could make them feel uncomfortable. If so, then they should make all of their efforts to protect those scenarios for their patients. If you'd like to learn more about how nurses protect patient confidentiality, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.